God is the eternal God that has been from everlasting to everlasting. And this God that is from everlasting to everlasting one day decided that he wants to create human beings and then he wants to share his kingdom with them. Isn't that absolutely wonderful? It is so mind-boggling. Here is a being that knows what it feels like to have eternal life, no beginning, no end whatsoever. And he comes and he forms heaven and earth and he brings forth a human being, a person that would be like him, a person that have his own will, that has his own personality, that is what we would call a free will agent. And God creates this human being in the hope that when he meets with this person and presents himself to this person, that he would believe in, trust in, and rely upon him, and that this relationship between God and this man that he has made would then result in this person sharing in the fullness of God's life. I would like to explain what I mean by that. When Helena and I got married, we were different people than what we are right now. I've got a certain personality and certain things that I really like. I've got certain tastes in music and taste in art and motor cars and uh, what a nice house would look like, what beautiful is. And she has got her own taste and she, we were different with things weren't the same. But I found that after more than 20 years of marriage, the two of us were basically born into each other. It was much more than just becoming one in flesh. We became one person. Who I was and how I believed was born in her and who she is and how she believed was born into me. She can basically now experience what it is to be me when she listens to certain music or look at a certain motor car or when she looks at mountains or the ocean. The way I appreciate that has been born in her as she believed in me. She saw me, she fell in love with me, and placed her trust in me. And as she placed her trust in me, who I was shaped her life. The very same is true for me. As I placed my trust in her and believed in her, I find that who she was, her way of thinking, her way of reasoning, what she loves, what she counts as beautiful and worthy was formed and shaped in me and I can now when I look at a ballet or an opera or a musical I can feel what it feels like to be her so what basically took place is of the two one new man was formed without any of the two being lost I am still myself, Helena is still herself, but we are so shaped and formed by each other that we are sharing in one another's lives. There's a union that took place through trust and belief. As we see this reality between a man and a woman or between a father and his children, we find that this is all born from God. This is what God has dreamt for us from the beginning. He created Adam and Eve. He gave them their free will, uh, ability to think and feel and reason. All of these are receptors whereby they can receive and believe and trust in God. And as they do that, they would start to experience what eternal life is. Who God is would be so much born in them that they would then fully share in who God is bodily. And that would also be true for God. As God beholds man, you would find that he would fully share in man. And we see how that took place in Jesus.
What God believed in, who God loved, who he trusted, the vision that he had with man materialized. And we find that God became flesh. The word became flesh and dwelt amongst us. What's amazing about this word is that this word, after entering into everything that we partake in, even death itself, when it was raised from the dead, when, let me rather say, he was raised from the dead, the word of God ascended unto the right hand of the Almighty God, the highest place there is as a human being, never, never to return to simply just a spirit. We find that God was united with man in a form where it can never be reversed. That shows the absolute love of God. And I want to say to you that as you believe upon him, what he has done in his death and in his resurrection and what the hope is that he offers us in Jesus, we will see that we start to find the first changes taking place in us where we start to experience what it is like to have a life that has no beginning and no end, what it is to be united with God. And when Jesus returns, we will see the fullness of the Godhead manifest in us bodily. This fullness we already possess, but it is to be manifested as Jesus will be fully manifested in this earth in the day of his manifestation, or as we would say, his return. What I want to say to you is this. The whole message of the gospel is a love story. It is about a God that wanted somebody that is like him, somebody that can receive him, that has his own personality, his own being, and then God becoming one with them. And so they live happily ever after. That is what God is after. So I want to say to you, as you look at your Bible, as you look at the scriptures, as you look at that which God brings forth, read it from the perspective of seeing who he is, wherein he wins your heart, where you believe, rely, and trust upon him as he made promises to you, giving you eternal life. As you rely and believe upon him, you will find, just like in a normal marriage, that you become like the one you believe in. The power of this change is directly connected to the reality and the truth of who God is. God has already become man. The Word has become flesh and it dwells in humanity. And in and when I say humanity, it doesn't mean it dwells in every person. It dwells in human form in the man, Jesus Christ. And as we believe and see this eternal life, the spirit of that life shapes us and forms us. This beautiful love story impacts our lives and we know what it is like to share in a life that is full of love and kindness and goodness. Not because of hard work or labor, but because it is who we have become in our very being because of God. Be encouraged. When you read your Bible, see the love of God, see the goodness of God, see the kindness of God, see the mercy of God, see the message that wins your heart, trusting in Him, and you will see your union with Him manifest in love, peace, kindness, goodness, meekness, temperance, faithfulness. This is what God has dreamt for us. God bless.